Hey Libra, welcome to August, welcome to August 2018, thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody who's like, shared, and subscribed. This is Unicorn Funland, I am Michaela Andromeda, I'm a Pisces, and I am here to do your monthly reading for August, here's halfway over, more than halfway over, Libra, 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 what will you have us know, universe, I'm going to pull five cards and also some advice from the universe for you. Again, thank you for everybody who's like, share, and subscribe. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. I absolutely feel very happy and blessed to be working in my purpose. Libra for August 2018. What will you have us know, universe? What do our Libra friends need to know? What do our Libra friends need to know for August 2018? Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being so honest and clear cut with us. Thank you for just, just letting us know, for just letting us know what is going on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What else? This one too. Advice, universe. Where's the advice? The advice is on the bottom. Bam. Well, that was simple, wasn't it? Yeah. Libra, 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 let's get it. What is going on this month? You got a lot changing. You got a lot changing this month, Okay. The point of this card, if you ever get this card, even if you do a personal reading with me, the point of this card, of course, is going to change situation to situation, but the point of it is to be right here, is to be in the center, is to be in the oneness, is to be in the balance of the black and the white, in the balance of the darkness. There are so many symbols on this card. You got Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You got the, the, the triad around it, okay? Ways of change, no matter what change is. No matter what changes, stay right here. Stay right here. There are some of you who are stressing out about a work situation. Dude, just just let the work situation go. And some of you who are worried about a, this new job that you're coming into, just and new people, you're worried about um, your new co-workers, new co-workers that are coming in, new co-workers that you are going to have to work with. You noticed somebody when you went to the interview, you noticed somebody had kind of a stank face and you're like, oh, I'm probably not going to get... I'm probably not going to get along with them, <laughs> but it's okay because that, that person is, is not having any effect on you. So be where you are, be who you are, and remember that everything will change. Everything will continue to change. If you feel like your work situation is not ideal for you, it's okay. This is a good month to start looking for a new job, um, to even put in your two weeks notice. If you feel like you just need a break and you just need to be at home with your kids, or you need to just be at home for a couple of weeks to just, just change your mind, to just be in your mind and to, to, to find some newness within you. This is a good time to do that, okay? Oh, Mercury's in retrograde, so please be careful of how you're talking to people. Please be careful of communication and communicate <laughs> with your inner voice, okay? This is the high priestess. She she is very mysterious and she's extremely subtle. And so she wants you to listen. She wants you to to be in in I'm seeing a like a carriage like like she wants to rock you this inner voice wants to rock you um uh she's also very closely connected with with spirit in general this is like mother god this is this is what i associate uh high the high priestess with she is mother god and so mother god wants to hold you that feminine that feminine aspect of yourself wants to hold you and wants to rock you and um she she's she's encouraging you to not judge the situation somebody is judging a situation that they're going through and she's encouraging you not to judge that this month in August uh, because there there are things that you don't know there um everything everything is not what it seems everything isn't what it seems so if you if you go into this situation judging I'm feeling work situation the 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 things that are changing if you're going into sorry I didn't mean to flip the bird <laughs> if you're going into um this situation judging then you know it things will just fall apart and it just won't serve you so she's encouraging you to to listen to her voice and to be rocked and to to be held by the oneness by the feminine oneness i'm seeing there there's there's so much femininity that's coming through to you libra this is for men and women but there there's there's some feminine aspect that you need to tap into that you need to hear you need to open up your ears wow you got three major arcana here in a row 
the spirit wants to talk to you spirit really needs you to know something about your situation so this is the hermit after after you listen to that inner voice you'll be able to go deeper deeper within and and to find a stability in your foundation a stability in your foundation is is kind of like calling to you your your heart is calling to you libra um and it's not calling libras i see i always associate libras with being lovers um but your heart isn't calling you outside of yourself it's not calling you to towards somebody else for i'm seeing a few of you your heart is calling you towards somebody else but for for this this card this this energy that i'm feeling is pulling you inside and so just allow yourself to be alone and it's okay being alone can sometimes be extremely uncomfortable but you can also find that it's very liberating because when you're alone, you don't have to impress anybody. When you're alone, you can think your own thoughts and you can express yourself the way you want to express yourself. You can learn what you want to learn. You can read what you want to read. You can watch as many Netflix movies <laughs> and TV shows as you want. But being alone is is precious. It's a very precious, it's, it's, it's a treasure. And there are some of you, excuse me, my mouth is dry. There's some of you that have been fighting being alone, that have been fighting um, um this treasure gosh you've been fighting this treasure within you you've been fighting this this spark of sunshine within you this spark the spark of sunshine within you and going being alone and going within is you moving towards that okay moving towards loving yourself because you you have to love yourself before you love anybody else i'm sure you've heard that before um wow so there there's a, a death of your mind going on this month libra um you're you you have the courage you are um you're 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 finding some kind of courage this month that is going to uh bring a death of your mind it's going to be bring a death of your um oh yeah I'm just, I'm sorry <laughs> no it's just the wind is blowing through but um there's it's going this courage is going to bring a death of your mind and it's going to trans form the way that you think this is a very general reading guys um but what the energy that i'm feeling for libra is that you're you're going through a mental transformation closer to the end of this month i'm seeing like the last two weeks of this month and it's going to flow it's going to be the last two weeks into the first two weeks of september but we're not going to go that far and th th this mental transformation is going to liberate you you see this little guy, he's playing his flute. He's feeling good because he, he has changed. He is transformed. He has risen above his animal nature. He's risen above his animal mind and he is able to, to just switch up again. Okay, I'm seeing a 360. So somebody's thinking is about to change. I'm seeing new age. I'm seeing new earth. There's a book by, by Eckhart Tolle new earth somebody needs to read that book somebody needs to watch the secret again somebody needs to get back into the law of attraction somebody is needing to take an action to change their thinking this month because that that is going to spark something new what's it going to spark it's going to it's going to spark <laughs> it's going <laughs> to i was going to say it again it's going to spark a receptivity it's going to spark an openness in you a feminine openness i'm telling you this th there's a lot of feminine energy somebody needs to connect with their mom you've been estranged from your mom you need to connect with her call her call your sister um go and play with your daughter and your nieces um um there's a female co-worker at work who you didn't really disagree with who you've had some kind of disagreement with that you guys need you need to be open to receive her you need to be open um enough to to apologize to her or open to her apology or there's there's a female boss that you have been at odds with and you probably need to just go knock on her door and just talk to her and tell her how you feel she'll understand she'll under she'll understand um sorry I got the garbage cans outside <laughs> she'll understand where you're coming from she'll understand your opinion and she will take it to heart and she she'll she'll um it will be a productive opinion and she will take she will take that to heart and it, it, will, it won't be like offensive, but she'll take it to heart like, wow, they really mean this and they really want this. And this is really important to them. I'm going to really actually consider it. And she'll say, I'm going to consider it. And, but, and it might just be like a very blank face, but she's actually considering it for some of you. General reading, guys.
Didn't I say transformation? There, a transformation of your mind? Did I say something like that? This is the advice from the universe. The advice from the universe is to allow this transformation, guys. Whatever, whatever has been piling up and building up in your mind, in your soul, in your being, in your body, it needs to change. Something needs, something needs to die and not just change. Wow, look at all of this change that is happening change and death death of you death of death of your spirit death of your mind death of old stuff allow it to happen allow it to happen because the more you hold on to i'm seeing somebody's holding on to a job because they this is how i pay my bills and this is how i make money and i'm holding on to it okay libra it's okay to let things go okay because when you let things go big change happens in your life when you let things go big change happens in your life stop holding on to it that's the energy from the universe that is the advice from the universe the universe wants to speak to you the universe wants to fly the universe wants your mind to fly and the universe also wants you to let go of the chains that have been holding you back and to stay centered libra this is a general reading if you want to book a reading with me, my email address is highpriestessmichaela at gmail.com. That information is down below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Pinkie Pie Sugar Pop. Thank you for everybody who has liked, shared, and subscribed. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe if my message resonates with you. I love comments. Please comment below. If, if Again, if my message resonates with you, if it doesn't, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know. I really want to know how you actually feel, and I want to know that I'm helping you. I feel like I'm helping you, but, you know, it's, it's always nice to have some communication. It's always nice to have a little bit of feedback. Other than that, guys, all love and praise to the universe within me and without me, Libra. It's time for transformation and it's time for change. I hope you have a beautiful day, a beautiful week, and a beautiful month. And I will see you next time. Bye!